Hi, Brayden. Today we're going to be reading in Matthew chapter 5, verse... Uh, oh, hold on, let me get the verse here. I wrote the wrong one down. We're going to start reading in 54. Hold on, I wrote everything down wrong. Matthew chapter 13, verse 54 through 58 and especially verse 58. Okay, Matthew 13, 54 through 58. And this is talking about Jesus. Jesus went to his hometown and began to teach them in their synagogue so that they were astonished and said, how did this wisdom and these miracles come to him? Isn't this the carpenter's son? Isn't his mother called Mary and his brothers, James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? And his sisters, aren't they all with us? So where does he get all these things? And they were offended by him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in, except in his hometown and in his household. And the last verse, this is the one I want to focus on, And he did not do many miracles there because of their unbelief. So he went to his hometown and they thought, this is just the carpenter's son. We know this guy. He's just a normal guy. How did he come to have all this knowledge? How does he know all this stuff? And they get, they get offended by him. But that last verse, he did not do many miracles there because of their unbelief. And God is showing me again. You think we're getting the message here? Another revelation, or I don't know, I wouldn't call it a revelation, but... The Holy Spirit has shown me another thing about having faith. And this says that because these people didn't believe, because they didn't have faith, it actually stopped Jesus from doing miracles. So our faith, can, or our lack of faith, can cause God to not pour out His blessing. He might have... Well, he definitely has the power and the ability to do wonderful things in our lives. But we actually, he has given us the authority to make him stop it just by not believing. And I don't want to do that. I don't think you want to do that either. So we have to have faith. We have to believe that God is all-powerful. We have to believe that God wants to do miracles in our lives, that he wants to do good things for us. And when we start not believing, it actually curbs that activity. It stops him from doing those things that he's ready to do. That's a sobering thought and kind of a scary thought that we have been given that much power, that much influence over God. Or he has allowed us to influence him. So it's important that we continue to pray for more faith and continue to believe that God has good things for us, and God wants us to do well, and that he has the power and the authority to make those good things happen. That's all I have today. Love you.